Okay, so here we are, November 6th, and it's a nice day. I mean, super nice. But the cold weather is coming. I live in western Pennsylvania. We know it's coming. I have an enclosure for this buggy already, um, but what I don't have is heat. So, just like everybody does on the forums, I'm thinking I'm going to do one of those fans right in between the seat. So, I bought a few things to do that. I'll throw the prices up on the screen here, but I got the 12 volt fan, I got the speed controller, and because I have the XMR, I bought a different plastic piece. Um, that's a question that everybody's always asking, can we do this with the XMR? Well, we're going to pop off my interior panel and see if uh, this other regular looking panel will fit. Okay, so you can see the XMR panel is different from the other ones because it has a snorkel that goes through it. I don't think mine's connected right now. Get this off here. And it fits. It fits fine. Ready to put a fan in there to give us some heat? Yeah. All right, let's get it done. So we dremeled the hole out for the speed controller and make sure it all fits nicely. So it'll look something like that. It's not too bad. About here? Yeah. So we're gonna put it? Not been filming Yeah, and then you're gonna that right there. almost perfectly. Alright, so we got this all put together. All those parts I showed you just took my time drilling holes. Got the speed control in, the dials, the knobs, all that stuff. Got a, the fan on the back side secured. Um, let's go test fit it in there. There it is. Looks pretty good. Let's get some power to this thing. Okay, so you saw that fitment was good. I got it connected. It works. It works good. You can dial it how it's supposed to go. Blows a good amount of air. Okay, so today is December 18th and it is 28 degrees out right now. You see we got lots of snow and <clears throat> I'm sure everybody wants to know how much heat does that turbo heater put into the cab? So right now I got the enclosure open on the side, so I just have a windshield on in the back window. And I've got a clock thermometer in there and the turbo heater running. So 28 degrees outside. And with the cab open, it's 41 degrees. So that's 13 degrees warmer with the sides open. I'm gonna go ahead and close the sides and let it let it do its thing to see how warm it gets. Okay, I went and did a couple things real quick. Gave it five minutes. So it's been closed up for five minutes with the heater on. And let's see. We're at 50 degrees. I'm gonna give it another five minutes and see if uh, 
and it keeps going up. The, it's not that it's slowly getting warmer in there. The stupid thermometer thing is just slow to update. You know, you could think in the house right now, and about half an hour from now, it'll tell you what it really is in there. So I'll give it another five minutes. All right, guys. Well, it's been running for about 10 minutes with the windows closed. Figure I'd come out and check one last time, see where we're at. Then I can shut her down. 59 degrees. So, I think it's gone up about a degree outside. 29 degrees. So that means uh, 30 degrees. It's 30 degrees warmer inside an enclosed buggy with the turbo heater than it is outside. That's pretty good. Now I'll say this, this temperature is with it sitting still at idle. Uh, I don't know that the turbo is going to get any hotter, but when you're moving you got gaps, specifically up under the windshield here I got a big gap here and uh, a few other places that the wind comes in and you can feel it so that obviously affects the temperature inside, but sitting still. 29 degrees outside, 60 degrees inside the buggy. Uh, certainly, for 100 bucks or less, worth the investment. Hopefully you like this video. Uh, as always, appreciate if you can subscribe, hit the like button. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below.